welcome to episode two of our let's play and in this episode we are going to find the new minecraft mob the sniffer so let's get started before we leave we need to stock up on some food so i ran over quickly to austin's farm and i stole some wheat but i did replant so i'm not a completely bad person this enderman also just showed up in my bedroom so i guess he lives here now and we're roommates. The first thing we need for our adventure is a new item in 1.20. It is the brush. So I do have the materials in here in this conveniently empty chest. Um, so I'm gonna come over here and make it. I can't remember how to make this, so we're gonna take our best guess. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. I'm still wrong. <laughs> there we go. Fifth try is the charm. So this is what you use to uncover a sniffer egg and it's also used in all the new sort of archaeology things that have been brought into the game. But today's goal is to get a sniffer. Now that we have our brush and food, we just have to say goodbye to Gerald. You know, just let him know that we'll be gone for a couple days. You have your dirt block, you're gonna be okay. I'll leave a little sign so in case anybody comes up here. This is Gerald. Please be nice and we were off on our adventure watching our house fade into the distance until i realized this is actually a lake so i just hit the other side of it and i had to get out of the boat and then start walking in the opposite direction and it was kind of embarrassing but it was fine we're good on my adventures i found an old birch growth forest which means there's mm. cut <laughs> bandit was i disturbing your nap as I was saying, we have to keep a lookout for suspicious gravel or terracotta. I did get lucky and find some trail runes and I had a quick look through. It was actually kind of hard to find some suspicious gravel and I broke some by mistake, but eventually I did find a piece. I found some suspicious gravel, so we're going to uncover and see what we get. We found a little pottery shard, which is a friend pottery shard. I'm pretty sure if you uncover all of this, you will get a whole sort of building town structure which is really really cool but we are on a mission to find the sniffer so i will write down the coordinates and check this out another day and the adventure continued i was traveling for a long ass time and i went across a couple of different biomes till eventually i found what i was looking for okay so all we have to do is find some ocean runes and hopefully not get killed by any of those underwater zombies should be easy Okay, we're just gonna boat around and hopefully we will find a structure. We're boating and we're boating and we're boating. Okay, I see a structure, but there's also these dudes trying to, trying to harass me. Okay, let's see if we can get a little bit closer. I don't have any enchanted armor or anything like that. So my method is going to be using the door method to create an air pocket in the structure. We are down here and I hear a guy. Where's the guy? I don't hear any tridents, so that's pretty good. Are you suspicious sound? Oh, you are. What are you going to give me? A pottery shard. That's not exactly what we're looking for, but we will take it. The visibility down here was really, really, really low. So I was just brushing anything I could see in hopes that it would be suspicious sand and I would get something. Where's the dude? I can hear him. I can hear him. What are you doing, buddy? Coming over or are you just chilling? We're just chilling. We'll be fine. Oh, I found another one. And it looks like a wooden hoe. Okay, we have something else. We have another pottery shard. I'm not mad about it, but I want a sniffer egg. That guy was, you know, coming a little too close for comfort, so we had to give him a little smack. <gasps> I think we found one! Oh my god, it's one, it's one, it's one. Now it's time to get out of here. We're good. See you later, guys. Oh no, I think it was a pottery shard. I got so excited. Oh no, it's still in the water. I forgot. He's coming. Oh my god. I made this way more intense than it needed to be. Let me in, let me in, let me in. Sir, you need to go away. That is my sniffer egg and you can't have it. Okay? Stupid sand in my inventory. Give me my sniffer egg. <gasps> I got it, I got it, I got it. You know what? Y'all can keep the doors. 
I don't need them anymore. I'm, I'm gonna head out. I'm gonna get on my little boat and head home because we have been successful in getting our sniffer egg. I'm so excited. All right, let's head home. We don't need to be here anymore. We can go home and see Gerald and show him our new friend. <gasps> We're home. Honey, I'm home. Okay, he's still here. No one killed him, so that's that's a good sign. Gerald, look. I got us an egg. <whistles> Gerald's a man of few words, okay? I think what we are going to do next is build a whole garden area. Ah, okay. That's, uh... Really? Again? The next thing we need to do after Austin's rude interruption is to create a fun little place for our sniffer to live. I don't really want him wandering off into the distance and getting murdered by a cruel, evil neighbor. So we need to make a cute little garden for him. And I want to make the hedging out of leaves. I think that'll be the most natural. Um, so we need to go harvest some pretty leaves. I want dark oak, I think. So let's find a dark oak biome and see what we can get. After I collected my leaves, I headed back to my base and started laying out the sort of fence hedging area. I didn't really have a full plan for this garden. I just kind of went with what I thought looked cute. The first thing I made was this cute little pond, which I thought would be nice for the sniffer if he wants to take a bath. I don't know if to take baths, but if he wants to, he can. I did a rough layout for the paths that would go through the garden. I wanted to add a bit of cherry blossom wood, so I used these pink trap doors to create a trellis on the hedging and it's not really a pond without water so I made sure to fill up the pond. I created this farm area to hopefully plant whatever the sniffer digs up but initially I'm gonna just put some wheat down. I felt like this corner was a little empty so I decided to add a natural looking waterfall and I added some of these little planters by using the cherrywood trap doors and some signs. Now onto my cutest feature, I decided to make a froggy fountain that the sniffer can be friends with and it also added a lot, I think, to the pond. I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of obsessed with this fountain. The garden is now done and I really like it. I think it's really cute. I think a sniffer will have a good life here. So it is time to place the sniffer egg on some moss. This apparently makes the sniffer egg um, hatch faster. So here's hoping. Look at it. It looks like a dinosaur egg. I like it. And now we wait for the sniffer. <gasps> we have a crack. Hello? Are you in there? <gasps> oh, look at him. <laughs> He's sniffing me. Welcome to your new home. <laughs> He's so cute. Oh. Look at all those legs. Go on, go explore your new home. You got a froggy pond. You got some far- He likes the froggy pond. We got some farmland. We got a waterfall. You've got the works. He's such a weird little mob. Look at him. Oh. What are we looking at? Are you just looking at the sky? And sniffing? Are you stuck in the plant or something? Oh, there you go. So there we have it. We have the brand new Minecraft mob, the Sniffer. I think he's adorable. I have him on leash at the moment because he is wandering off and... <laughs> I want him to be in the outro, but he or she needs a name, so if you have any ideas, leave them in the comment section down below and I might pick your one. Um, and other than that, leave a like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next episode.